minute, brother. Huh? A pound nose? A pound nose? Wait, what's the catch? I need your cap and coat. Cap and coat? Cap and coat? What's the game? Speak it out. All right. I'll have to trust you. I need to make a getaway. Do a bump? Yes. What did it happen to? All right, I'll have to trust you. There's been a murder committed on the first floor. A murder? A murder by you, by you? No, no, by those who went over there. <laughs> oh, I see. And now they're waiting good as gold for a copper to come and arrest them, eh? No, it's true, I tell you. They're spies, foreigners. They murdered a woman like that, and now they're waiting for me. Ah, come off it. Funny jokes at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you the truth. Are you mad? Yes, but don't rub it in. Well, I'm not, you see. I'm a bachelor. <laughs> Lucky you. But I've been seeing this married woman. Oh, nothing. Point is, yeah, she was leaving. No. It was all a setup. Would you believe it? See those men over there? Oh, I do. Do you know who they are? Wait, wait, don't tell me, don't tell me. One's her brother, the other's her husband. God, blimey. I wouldn't be in your shoes. Here, take your coat. Here we are. Thank you. Yeah, and my cap. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you do the same for me one day, right? Here, yeah, just, uh... Keep the car around the corner, man. Right, Joe. Oh, well. Here. Uh, here, take a pound. Hey, happy. Thanks very much. Very kind of you, sir. Look here. Take two. Oh, take that. Ha ha. Well, there's it, girl. Two pounds. Two pounds. Wait a minute. That was my coat you got there, Dad, Dad. 